Making beats with vocals is a ton of fun. And even if you're not a singer, you might want to make like an EDM banger with an awesome top line. But if you want to take those vocals to the next level, I've got a plugin to show you today. It's called Humanoid by Baby Audio. And I used it to make this track. I have one fear in this life, something that I can't control. I wish I could be blind, but I just need to know. So let me show you how to transform vocals with Humanoid and how I used it in this track. Man, just caught up to the live portion of the stream. This production is so sick so far. Thank you, Jake. Let's dig into what makes it cool. And I'm gonna hone in on this section here. So this is nothing. This is just the vocal that I brought in from Splice. I have one fear in this life, something that I can't control. However, then I layered it in with really thick harmonies, really wide harmonies. So listen to this now. I have one fear in this life, something that I can't control. Very cool, very cool. So in this group, actually, what we have, we have two groups here. Oh, it's not even that group. We have one group here. In this vocal group, we have the same vocal stem. One is panned hard right. One is panned hard right. One is paired hard left. And that is how we are getting a very wide sound. I believe there's also a little bit of track delay on one of them. So they're not aligned perfectly. But we have humanoid on each of those layers. So let's take a look at what's happening in Humanoid. Pay attention to this upper left corner. So you might have noticed that we have control over the notes in Humanoid, which is a really fun way to make harmonies uh, with humanoid and remember if I take humanoid off of this we just have the normal vocal stem Panned Turn humanoid back on So how do we set that up here we have a MIDI track this MIDI track is sending those notes to humanoid So those harmonies are coming from my keyboard. If I don't send notes in, we're not going to hear anything. So I could even just do harmonies on single words by only applying notes there. We can create any kind of harmony. What is important to know, I think, is that Humanoid is not meant to be your realistic style tuner. I think if you can judge by the aesthetic of the plugin, it is meant to truly be a vocal transformer. Like you're not using this to get the most natural sounding vocal at all. You're looking to push the sound of the vocal with this plugin. I think that's probably emblematic from this little transform knob in the middle where we go from human to robot and we have controls from like robotify and things like that to just show you the final step of that we were obviously playing the keyboard in real time but if you want those harmonies you know to be permanent in your song we simply just write the midi and again this midi here is being sent to the humanoid plugin and that's what's triggering those notes there we go Life, something that I can't control. So let's crank the Robotify and play with the Formant. Formant is obviously going from having a bigger instrument, so like a lower tone, not lower notes, but lower tone, and then a smaller instrument, so a higher tone. Formant first. I 
and then robotify where things can get really crazy. gets really synthy and like I, I love that sound it's like transforming the vocal into a synth which we'll get more into that in a bit let's move down to utility because it's kind of simplified so range is really useful if you're doing like if you're using it as like a hard tune auto tuner because if your vocal is only in this range rather than this range, you can limit the plugin so it's not searching for notes in those other places and you'll get a more accurate sound um, from the tuning. We have a de -esser. we have a gate, we have a smoothing, which will start to add like some glides between notes. I don't know if we'll get it in this. We are getting it there. Do you hear the slight glide between notes? Right there at the beginning. Very, very cool. All right, here we have something I've labeled high robot. All right, give a listen to this vocal section. All right, so we have the main vocal and then we have this high robot layer. Let's kind of hone in on what's happening there. I'll solo that for you all. So this is an instance where I'm using pr a proper tuning, scale tuning to B major uh, instead of sending MIDI out. So that's doing its own vocal correction. This is a splice sample, so it was most likely, it was definitely already corrected. And I've got that smoothing cranked up. So those notes are gliding between each other. I'm not looking for the natural sound here. I'm really looking for this robotic kind of sound. Here we can choose different wave shapes and even bring in our own wave shapes. And then as we dial this transform knob up, that is going to further, that's gonna take the vocal from sounding like a normal human vocal. As you push the transform up, it's gonna sound more just like a straight up synth. We use that later in the project as well. So you can hear, once I crank that, pretty much all, most elements of the vocal are lost. But octave is helpful because octave is sort of different than formant, where if I play this at the normal octave, it sounds like this. It doesn't sound, you know, it doesn't sound different. It's not going to layer in well with the main vocal. So if I do an octave up, we obviously get a higher octave, but you can also get a lower octave as well. We have stretch here, which is going to change and affect the shape of the wave that we're using to alter the sound. And then the shape, we can get a more extreme shape or a less extreme shape. This is obviously gonna have an impact on the sound. Could go here. Yes, let's go here. There's two instances of humanoid. Down tuned, an octave lower. So let's listen to that one. That's just very, very simple. It's kind of buried in the background because this is just doubling the main vocal and I just wanted that subtle thickness. We're coming from the main verse to sort of this pre-chorus section. So I want energy to build. So I want the vocal to be thicker here They're not telling us everything. can you even tell that that's a vocal yeah. that is the same vocal line but we're really pushing humanoid in this one you can see we're pushed all the way almost all the way on the transform here we're going an octave up and we're totally robotified. They're not telling us everything. And I'll finally sleep. And I think it comes together really, really well. And it actually saves me a lot of time because I don't have to go write the synth line or I don't have to convert audio to MIDI to make a synth line that doubles the vocal line. I can literally just change if I ever know everything. the vocal into a synth. 
Let's try to do this with different waveforms. It's a sine square combo. Let's try to do a saw. Comb filter. Triangle. Let's go down to like a weird one. That one sounds pretty good. Raver's Delight. So you can see just by changing the wave here in the synthesized module, you're going to get a very different sound. And again, you can import your own. Definitely ranges from like super bright to slightly more subtle. I'm going to stick with more subtle and use the uh, sine square combo. And that's kind of how the drop of our song comes together. It's all of these different vocal layers. And one thing you might notice is the dry signal is coming through. That is because on the output menu, little cog icon, I've got the dry wet of the entire plugin set to 50%. So listen to this. This is printed to audio, but l just listen to this for a moment. So I've taken the clean vocal. I have one fear in this life. We could add warble, which I didn't talk about in effects yet. I have one fear in this <laughs> life. So let's see what happens when I freeze a section. It's frozen, right? So now, regardless of what's happening in the DAW, that audio is frozen in the buffer. But now we can change the buffer size. And this becomes really fun to play with. And you can have a lot of fun with that. So the experimentation that I went through was just finding a good part to freeze. And I kind of just did that by trial and error. To me, that's like a Charlie XCX kind of vocal effect all the time. All of these different vocal layers coming together for me to try to make like one epic hyped tune. That's what I was trying to do at least. I wish I could be blind, but I just need to know. 